Okay, welcome to the first video tutorial of GLEED 2D. GLEED 2D stands for Generic Level Editor 2D and it is a general purpose non-tile based level editor for 2D games of any genre that allows arbitrary placement of textures and other items in 2D space. Custom properties can be added to these items in order to represent your game logic. The levels are saved in pure XML format. The editor was designed in a way that enables generic level editing for any type of game, whether it's a shooter, RPG or platformer or whatever. No assumptions of your game's genre or structure are made. There is another video tutorial that covers the advanced features of the editor and another one in which I show how simple it is to load a level created with Glee 2D in your own XNA game application. Okay, when you start up the editor um, this is what you get. You have the main editing window right here. You have a tree view which will show you the structure of your level later here. Below is a property grid which will show the properties that can be edited once you have selected an item, a layer or a level. And down here is the stuff that you can actually add to the level. Okay, before you start editing, um, you should know some details about um, the levels in Glee 2D. So the structure of the levels in Glee 2D is um, the following. Each level consists several layers and each layer consists of uh, several items. You can have as many layers in your level as you want and you can have as many items in each layer as you want. So the first thing I need to do is create a new layer. I do this by clicking uh, this icon here, new layer. Okay, let's give it a name, layer one. Okay, so layers have this uh, pink icon with an L inside. Okay, now that I have a layer, um, I can start adding textures to it. So I do this by clicking in my textures folder. These are some textures that I made and now um, I can start adding textures by uh, just drag and drop for example like this or I can double click a texture here and then I enter a brush mode kind of uh, which means that the texture follows the mouse wherever I go and then I can just click wherever I want to place a texture okay and I end this mode by right clicking Okay. Now you can see that um, layer 1 has six textures. They're called texture 1 to texture 6. This is the default name. And texture items have this blue T icon. There are other types of items uh, which we will see in another uh, video tutorial. If you don't like the names you can rename everything by just right clicking on it and select rename. Okay. Now let's talk a little bit about camera movement. You can move the camera around uh, with WASD keys like this. You can hold down uh, the left shift key at the same time for faster camera movement. These two camera speeds can be adjusted in the settings dialog which is here. So you have camera fast speed and camera speed which is in world units per second. Okay. You can hold down left control and uh, click with your middle mouse button anywhere in the level and then you can drag around the whole level like this. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, you can zoom in and out with your mouse wheel like this. This is done in steps of a 10%. Okay. Uh, you can hold down plus or minus keys on your numerical keyboard for smooth zooming. And finally you can center the camera on any item that you have by just selecting it, which uh, you can do by just clicking on it here or here in the tree view. And then uh, you have center view, F4. Okay, So then the camera gets centered on this item. So I can select any item and press F4 like this. F4, F4. Okay. 
So this is camera movement. Okay, now let's create another layer in our level, which we will call layer 2. Okay, this is layer 2 here. And uh, now I have to select layer 2 because uh, right now layer 1 is selected. You can see down here, layer 1 is the currently selected layer. And that's important because any texture that you add to the level is added to the layer that is currently selected. So if I want to add textures to layer 2, I have to select it first. Now layer 2 is selected and now I can uh, drag and drop my textures here and they're added to layer 2. Okay. Now let's talk about draw order. As you can see, layer 2 is drawn on top of layer 1. That's because layers are drawn in the order that they appear here. So layer 1 is drawn first and then layer 2 is drawn. The same applies to items inside the layer. So texture 1 is drawn first, then texture 2 and so forth. And finally texture 6 uh, is the topmost texture in this layer. If you want to change the draw order, you can do so by uh, clicking on these two buttons here. So you have move up, F7, and move down, which is F8. So let me demonstrate this by making layer 2 invisible first. You can make things invisible by unchecking them, like this, or uncheck the whole layer. Okay. Now let me demonstrate draw order. Move the item here so you can see that it's uh, the topmost uh, texture here. So now I click up, and as you can see, uh, the draw order changes. Okay, again down, and you can also drag and drop with your mouse. So while you drag, you can immediately see the changes and how the draw order is affected by your movement. Once you're done, you just release your mouse button, and that's it. Okay, the same uh, can be done with layers, although drag and drop is not supported yet, but you can click on a layer and move it up. Okay, so now layer 2 is drawn first and then layer 1. Okay, so this is draw order. Uh, now let's see what we can do with uh, the items once we have selected them.